says hello welcome back okay we're gonna graph six more of them right here today graph the function state the period amplitude transformation horizontal vertical or reflection domain and the range all right sine one half x plus two first of all the amplitude always comes from right in front of the sine or cosine which in our case there's an invisible one Ooh, whoa the period, we're going to do 2 pi divided by the number right behind sine, which in our case is 1 half. So 2 pi divided by 1 half. Now when you're dividing by a fraction, remember we rewrite that as times the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 1 half is just 2. So 2 pi times 2 will be 4 pi. Let's talk our transformations. The only one I see is this plus two at the back. So that is a vertical shift up two units. Now when I'm figuring out how to like space out my graph, I like to find my steps. So I find one cycle and I divide it by four. So four pi divided by four would be one pi. So every pi units, we're gonna be changing our stuff here. So let's see, we can label this as pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. This would be one complete cycle. You know what? Let's throw in a 5 pi and a 6 pi. Get part of another cycle going. Sine, remember, starts at 0, or the center of the graph. So our center is shifted up 2 units. Here's the center line, but our amplitude is 1, so it can go 1 above it or 1 below it. So starting at the center, remember sine goes up and back to center, down, back to center, up, back to center, down, back to center, up, down, you know, it keeps going. This goes on forever in both directions. So throw the curve on it. And let's handle our domain and range. Now domain, our x values could be anything. So that is all real numbers for domain. And then the range is the y values. So the lowest y value we hit was 1. The highest value we hit was 3. So we're going to say 1 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 3. Cool. You can figure that out without even looking at the graph. You just take the center, we went up 2, and then you add and subtract the amplitude from it. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 plus 1 would be 3. 